Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Ghost of Tabor Overview. There's a lot to talk about about this release today and quite frankly, it might be the biggest graduation release we've ever had, I feel like. I would need to like check the archives. I've only seen mentioned this game a couple times here and there, but never actually played it, mostly because it's not my genre. And the concept like that has been done done <laughs> before in gaming, so there's nothing revolutionary. But with VR stamp, everything is groundbreaking. <laughs> so Ghost of Tabor is an extraction-based action shooter game, where, inspired by the similar games and genre, <coughs> Escape from Tarkov, you descend upon the fields of madness to scavenge, loot and shoot your way to the extraction point and get out with your life from that place. Straight up I'm not gonna be talking about the trailer because it's a PC based one, so classically we're seeing as most devs do nowadays. The misleading graphics of course because it's a big scale game, so they need to make it up with flashy transitions and fast paced cuts for you to not notice the little details. On top of that, I come from the period of gaming essentially that wasn't really centered around the whole pay to win scheme that it is nowadays and looking through the pre-order details and all the packs it's possible to buy, this is like a clear definition of it and we're not talking about the skins or anything that's like cosmetic, no, just literally having straight up advantage over other players and essentially actually weaponizing your wallet against other people. No wonder they're reaching big milestones in revenue comparing to other releases in the store. So that's just the entry level of stuff going on, but in terms of the gameplay it's really hard to tell because of this shitty ass trailer. Like I said, I'm not well versed in that genre, but we're gonna be pretty much in very open ended areas with scavenging and gathering equipment over time to just make your way somehow through the game. I think the nature of those projects is that you pretty much lose everything upon death and then restart over again which is the main appeal of this specific genre, like it relies on adrenaline and a fear of losing all of your progress. There's a reason why this genre got so popular back in the day and now it's back with VR. But just a quick reminder, every addiction is bad and this is no exception. So let's just contain ourselves and look at things realistically. Let's go to the butchery. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm like struggling with the whole UI because it's just bugging out everywhere. When I was doing the calibrations, username like I can't even progress anymore. <laughs> I think I'll reset the game because this is a little bit pathetic. Okay, let's see. We have garbage. Resolution going on. Oh shit, mass of Jesus Christ! No! <laughs> like I can barely see what's there in the distance in terms of the text and stuff. Yeah, this is very low quality. And while we're using trigger... Oh my god! <laughs> it's a very aggressive sound. I mean this seems like great. It's like I can see the interactional bubbles, but... <laughs> so it's not like every interaction works, you need to like lock it in the space or whatever. Oh, 
And now we have a group. What? It's gonna be wonky as hell. Charging candle what? Whatever, I'm not gonna use this anyways. Yeah, I don't know about the positioning. <laughs> Jesus! Oof. We'll have to see in action. But I need to like hurry up. There's so much unnecessary info. Like into the radius made it perfect. I walk around with a pistol and then the rest is gonna be situational. Do I have like equipment? There we go. This is too much, at least for the intro. Hello? I'm here. We need more. Others also no interaction like that. Whatever. People like crazy. I know I should not rush, but I'm gonna schedule. <laughs> Holy cow! I'm back on quest. OG. <laughs> so I have nothing, which is cool. I guess that's the essence of those games. Jesus, with the textures and stuff. 
the loading screen said it's like 12 person map with about 40 minutes of length I see someone but that's definitely AI I just wish there would be like some physics based interactions like Sounds here. But I don't care. Hi. There's nothing here. Whatever that is. This is also AI and one just disappeared and reappeared. <laughs> Don't shoot me! Oh, I can't even go to water. Cool. <laughs> so now we're like in the... I don't know. Experimental silo thing. I can already hear people walking. I can't even take two steps and I'm already being attacked. Come on! Ew. Oh, there we go. I don't think I have ammo for this. This trash. <laughs> And now in some, I think, Russian city. But I'm gonna be dead in like one minute, like what's the point? I feel like with survival games you have to have some kind of physics engine going on cause the rest just make no sense at all. Okay, there's magazine in the back for some reason. I just wish there would be some physics going on cause then it makes more realistic with the survival setting. It starts. Ah. Come on. It's also very empty. This is a pocket for a knife, but there's no knife. <laughs> Let me pass. I'm over it. 
I hate the resolution, I despise the interaction, and it's not for me. <laughs> like, I don't see many good qualities about it. Considering it's an open scale game, I suppose I can pass by some level of graphics, but really, it is low quality, but I just have a grip with the whole system of just gameplay. Like there's no physics going on, the loot is scarce and a lot of stuff are not compatible with each other. At least I would wish to have some like, you know, punching action, but there's nada. <laughs> it's just shooting and dying. Granted, I did not complete the whole tutorial because I would not even go into the game at all, but it's just a struggle to play in general. I don't really know what people see in this game. Maybe it's this genre that is so tempting to play, but definitely not in my case. If it used somewhat the into the radius mechanics, then I feel like this game would be amazing, but then it's just too basic to function. <laughs> I mean, congrats on the graduation, but I don't say it for me.